sorts. But let's connect, uh, connect with the management of Cosmo Films. We have Neera Jen, CFO here, to chat a little bit about the quarter gone by. Operationally a little bit muted, pat down 50%, but top line growth has come in at a healthy 30% clip at about 300 and, uh, 481 crores. Thank you so much, Mr. Jen, for joining in. Now, it's been good growth on the top line, but your profits have been hit down 50%. Would you attribute that to the higher cost of crude derivatives, or what's the reason? Good afternoon, and thanks for having me. Um, well, if you see, our business can be seen in two parts largely. One is the specialty business, uh, which is slightly stable margin business. And second is the commodity, largely the, you know, which is subject to the uh, market demand and supply scenario. Uh, in quarter three, our specialty business has grown 30 percent. Uh, strong growth can be uh, seen there. Even in the commodity side also, our business has grown in volume more than one third. But what has hit it is the uh, commodity margins. So the favorable impact of the uh, volume growth and the specialty growth got compensated by the unfavorable impact of the commodity margins. Commodity margins has been running almost one of the lowest of last five years or so. Uh, although there is a small recovery uh, seen in the later part of the December month. But uh, during the quarter, entirely, you know, the favorable impacts got compensated by it. Further, if you see, as you rightly picked, you know, EBITDA. Uh, Mr. Jain, you mentioned commodity margins are at a five-year low. Uh, are at a five-year low. What's the reason for that? Uh, because, I mean, uh, yes, you, you did mention recovery, but what's the reason for the decline in commodity film margins? And also, in your press release, you've mentioned that BOPP film margins have ex as well experienced high volatility. So what's the reason for that as well? So the BOPP is the rightly referred, actually, uh, uh, for the commodity films. So uh, if you see... During last 12 months or so, almost the lo domestic industry has grown by 2 to 3 percent as against the normal growth rate of 12 to 15 percent. And in anticipation of the demand growth, there was some supply addition in the domestic industry. At a uh, broad level, there was almost about 10 percent gap in the demand and supply scenario, which has impacted unfavorably the, the commodity margin. All right, let you go on that note. Um, just going to get in a quick uh, view then on your overall margins just before we let you go. A 30-second answer. With crude oil prices on the rise, can your margins come under further pressure going forward? Well, as I mentioned in the later part of the December, the, the margin recovery has slightly started. Uh, we see that trend to continue even in the uh, January month also. Uh, on the crude side, actually, the crude movement do not have much impact on our margins. Other side, the uh, crude up or down, it gets passed on to the uh, end consumer. So from that perspective, the margins should not get impacted. Thanks for giving us clarity on that. 310 on Cosmo Films right now, uh, down and out in the session. Well, we'll have to wait as to how the markets pan out for the most part of the afternoon session, given that globally we are seeing some amount of recovery, 10,400 on the index. Be back with more on the other side of Market Sense.